father who pray. It's very interesting because you said that when you decided really to become a priest already, so you studied, you know, in the seminary, right? For how many years? Then what? What did you take theology? What or canon So in law? France, we we used to study by this time uh, for uh, eight, years. eight years. So we 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 started with uh, philosophy, uh -huh. and we started theology, of course. We to learn Bible and. Uh, to, to learn how to pray, to, to, to take time with the Lord, and, uh, and to, to try to, to learn how to, to love the church, to love church because uh, it, uh, church is our mother, as St. Teresa says. And um, um, afterwards, we, uh, we have to go uh, outside to uh, improve our vocation. So mm -hmm. I went to the army for one year. Okay. And then after I went to a school to, to look after the children in the school. I did not want to do that. I was so afraid to go there. But the only thing uh, uh, I, I could find was that. So I, I went there. Some, a day the phone uh, came on, Some, a friend of mine who was priest phoned to me and he said, he told me, uh, we are looking for someone to, to look after the, the kids, uh, the children over there. Uh, I thought about you, would you like to come? And I say yes, but I did not want to go. So I went there and it was all right. I spent uh, a very uh, uh, f full year here. And Is it an uh, orphanage? Like Sorry? Orphanage, the children with no parents? Uh, no, no, absolutely not. It was a, a college, uh, ah, but college. it was a special college because uh, it used to receive uh, mostly boys, uh, sometimes girls, but mostly boys who were out uh, from the other colleges because they did not want to, to keep them because of their, they were so difficult to, to manage. So it was, uh, I went there. And I think it's why um, I, uh, sometimes we are fear when you become an adult, you, you, you become to be fear of young, young people. And mm -hmm. uh, I think this experience helped me to not to be fear of young ones. And uh, I learned there uh, uh, how to, to be with young people, I think so. What so, age are these children? They were the youngest one was, uh, I think, something like four, oh. and the eldest uh, was uh, sixteen, something like that. And yes. you were how old at that time? Oh, well, I, I was. I must count. Uh, I think uh, twenty-two, twenty-three. I think I was twenty-four, something but like. that. Still young, yes, you yes. know. So don't you think it's easier to communicate with them because you were most or less same age? You know, you can understand them. Already, when they yeah. when they talk to you, they 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 think you are an adult, and they think you are not a young one. Uh, I've been told uh, a few days before coming that uh, someone who was uh, about uh, seven uh, seven years old or eight was telling another one, "Oh, he's look young. He's uh, look very old because he's <laughs> twenty. So <laughs> it depends where you you look from." <laughs> It is uh, the experience uh, yes. the Lord gave to me, uh, and um, I think it was a good experience. Yeah, because then after I went to the seminary, yes. back to learn theology, and mm -hmm. uh, by the two last years I uh, become a deacon. It will be uh, 30 years this year. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I am a deacon, and uh, it will be 29 uh, as a priest uh, this year in next June. Yeah. So, you, when you become a priest, you stayed all the way in Lisieux or you go to Paris to study? I went uh, to the seminary in Caen and used, by this time I used to go in parishes in our diocese of Bayeux and Lisieux. And then after uh, one year in the parish, a full year in the parish as I became a priest, uh, I went to study in Paris in the Catholic Institute of Paris mm -hmm. University. And uh, here I, I learned about uh, pastoral uh, theology, mm -hmm. and um, uh, it was a good time too because my uh, my aim was to try people to answer what uh, I was uh, telling them, because uh, to announce the the good news, uh, it's better if people understand what you are talking about. So. It was my aim, and I think I was very pleased of these uh, studies. Uh, I did not want to do these studies also. Uh, I, th 
I don't think I, I wanted it. many things, but the Lord asked me to do to do so. So I, perhaps I would have preferred uh, by this time uh, to learn law art or liturgy, uh, but. Uh, uh, my bishop uh, by this time uh, remained me, uh, oh, we have needs also in pastoral uh, theology, theology, and yeah. uh, I, had, uh, I had forgotten this, and uh, I was very pleased of these studies too. Don't you, because you came from Bayou and Lishu, you know, Lishu is a very quiet, very peaceful town, right? So it's quite small in comparison with Paris, which is a big city, you know. How do you feel the difference, you know, from a very peaceful, quiet town, at peace, you know, and then here you are, a very challenging, big city, very noisy, you know? We live in a quiet city in this year, yes. It's, uh, yeah. called, it's called the, the capital from uh, this area, but it's, uh, it's uh, on the countryside. So yes. when we are in Paris, uh, you missed uh, the fields and the cows mm, and uh, the yes, silence. Yes. And um, in our area, we are two hours from Paris, uh, drive, drive from Paris, and uh, many uh, Parisian people come on the on weekends in our area because they have rest over there. So I was, I was here to study. So I used to go outside to visit Paris and to run to to have a little sport activity uh, during this week, but we were here to learn. So uh, uh, Paris is uh, actually a very beautiful town. Yes. So I wanted, uh, as I was uh, l learning uh, and doing my studies, studying, uh, I wanted also to, to visit Paris and to, to see more of Paris because so it's a lovely town. Yeah, so you're very excited. You visited several parishes there, right? very different from your hometown in Lisieux, or are the people the same as long as they have the faith? I don't think they are uh, already the same because uh, the culture seems to be different. Even all Parisians, or many of them come from uh, the provinces mm -hmm. of France, different provinces of France, but uh, there is a, a cultural phenomenon. And, um, uh, but uh, we, I used to be, uh, before becoming the rector of the Shrine of Lisieux, I used to be 14 years in uh, Honfleur, which is a well-known uh, town all over the world because it's a peculiar and touristic uh, place and a little harbor with old houses and uh, near the river, uh, the Seine. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, you, we used to have many Parisian people, but uh, uh, we were all gathered for for the the mass, uh, and uh, when each other was able to to speak to to the other one, so it's because of Jesus can do that for us because it's not natural to to go and speak to another one who hasn't got your your same culture. Mm -hmm. uh, but so, we could manage by this time. Yeah, so when you talk about faith, it doesn't matter what culture you have because everything is focused toward Jesus itself. Of course. You know? when and, you know, so after studying, you go back to Lisieux? Yes, I used to, uh, actually, uh, really, uh, I used to go back each week uh, to be in a parish. Oh, very near. And for, and for uh, holidays too. Um, and when I went back to to, to my diocese, uh, I went back to the parish where I was coming from, and uh, I did not know why I was going back to the same parish. I thought I would have been to another one. Yes. yes. So uh, again, uh, another time, uh, the Lord decided for me. So uh, I learned an, uh, in the seminary not to ask to go somewhere. So that's uh, peaceful for us because we have many things to thought about, to think about. And uh, when you don't, uh, you you have no need to, to ask yourself what you are becoming, what you, uh, what you will you will do. It's peaceful. For, uh, so I learned this in the seminary. So I went there to my you know, so former sure? parish, yeah. and I spent there uh, five years. Yeah. So it means that uh, the the young people, for example, I had left. Uh, uh, f uh, two years before, 
as just grown up and I had to look up here to see <laughs> them, to watch them, but yes. we, we knew one each other, so yeah. we didn't have to spend time uh, learning and one each other. Uh, so it's become easier for you to have a beautiful relationship with your Parisian of course, nurse, yes, you know, yes, yes. because you also mentioned that you learn in the seminary not to ask, not to choose, you know, because as we said, for me, I always interpret you know, based on your experience also, sometimes what you want is not what God wants for you, what yes, the Lord wants really for yes. you. But you become very obedient. I think that's the term. So, magbabalik po ang programa ng Power Tonight. Alam ko po na napakaganda na aming pinag-usapan, pero antabayan ninyo yung pagbabalik po namin.